Coffee is a really important and popular crop. And many people seem to be interested in having their own plant of coffee at home. Then, for horticultural purpose, is there a way to optimize your coffee plant? First, let's talk about coffee morphology. The horizontal and main branch is called orthotropy. Those branches are recommended to make cuttings. Then comes the lateral branches. They are called plagiotropic. Those are the only ones to produce flower and fruit, and they are not recommended for the cutting, since they keep their vertical behaviors. Therefore, I tested mainly the plagiotropic branch. In the yellow box, you see I tested all the rooting concentration, from 0 to number 3. In the blue boxes are my treatment for semi-hardwood, softwood and shoot tip cuttings. Then, in the red box, you see I tested the coffee ground in the media of 7 and 8. And finally, I tested the orthotropic cuttings with the treatment 11. For the experiment, we'll need Vermiculite, Agromix, Coffee Ground, Styrofoam Pot, Rooting Hormone, Razor Blade, Alcohol to Sterilize and your mist Chamber. Once watered, mix everything and fill your pot. Add coffee grounds to some of your pot to make the experiment. Once your pots are filled, let's take the cutting. First, let's trim a lateral softwood branch. Here's a softwood branch with 7 nodes to make 7 cuttings. Then, semi-hardwood branches, woody and older. You see, at each node, flower bud. And then, scumming the shoot tips, which I use for a treatment. Now, your single node cutting. Remove all the flower buds. Then cut your half leaf and remove the other one. Always cut close to the nodes. There you go, your single node cutting. Then, wash all your cuttings to remove dirt and bugs. Now, let's plant them. Add the hormone assigned to each treatment. Then plant gently and identify each treatment. Once you're finished, bring them in the mist frame. The mist chamber keeps a warm and moist environment to help the cutting. Now, let's wait. Normally, they will root between 2 and 3 months. It seems the cutting with the higher rooting hormone rot easily. Then I started to find that too many were rotting. Why? Because my medium was too wet for the mist frame. I decided then to add a lot of perlite to my old mixture. See how they seem better? They even start to make new shoots and callus. Still, some died. Today is the day. What happened below the ground? First, take them out carefully with a spoon by and below. Look at those roots! The orthotropic cuttings rooted clearly better and more than the plagiotropic one. Plant the rooted cutting in a well-drained medium. Three 
cuttings without hormone root, as well as three for the hormone number two and one for the hormone number three. At the end, no treatment was found to be better. So plant your rooting cuttings and put the other one back in their medium, in the mist frame, to see if more time will make them root. Once out of the mist frame, let them acclimatize in the greenhouse. Finally, I want to thank you, Dr. Donnelly, Christy, Reina, the greenhouse team, Javier Veliz, for all their support in this project.